Good evening, Zero K fans, and welcome to live stream sessions, the exhibition match session, as it usually is. Start off today with Yogzatoth versus El Torero on Titan Duel. Nothing really to introduce here. We have just two fairly good players going on a fairly typical vehicle heavy map. Probably going to be vehicles, vehicles, possibly vehicles, tanks. El Torero is going for light vehicles. Yogzatoth also going for light vehicles. Not at all atypical in this map. Yogstoth is very quickly looking like he's out to raid, getting a couple darts and then focusing very heavily on Scorchers. No defensive play for him. While El Torero not showing his hand quite yet, going for a couple darts for scouting and not yet showing if he's going to go for Slasher Spam or for Scorcher Spam. Very interesting distinction. Scorcher Spam means going to be more offensive, while Slasher Spam is an easy way to avoid having to build a bunch of defenders, a bunch of missile turrets. Just keep them up, but neither player appears to be going for Slasher heavy play. There is a defender coming up for El Torero, and Yogstoth coming in with one of his... Actually, El Torero coming home with... Sorry, Yogstoth is coming with the darts, El Torero going with the darts. He, they have met up, and Yogstoth's darts are a little bit worse for the wear. However, El Torero's darts are meeting up with Yogstoth's commander, and can't do too much to them. His other dart, wisely moving out of the way, getting probably get hit by the Scorcher, and Yogstoth's darts... First one got hit by this defender, second one... Gonna be taken out by El Torero's commander, so neither player able to do any damage with the darts. That's not the point, though. Both players are just trying to scout each other out. Very quick start here. And Yogzatoth moving in with his Scorchers, getting a few more of those up. Getting a Lotus as well. And actually, Norm616 pointing out in the chat that El Torero has actually managed to avoid getting either of his darts damaged. Or one of his darts is very slightly damaged, but this dart is basically not damaged. Getting out of the way, very nice attention there. Keeping an eye on these darts, so he knows when Yogstoth is moving out. Actually, it looks like he's trying to move this dart. He is moving this dart further in. Not sure if he's going to go for... He is... He is going to retreat. He just wants to see if this is taken. The metal is not taken right now. Getting away from that Scorcher. Very nice move there. Yogstoth continuing to build up. El Torero as well. Both players are fairly even right now. Though El Torero is focused a bit more on the ground for power. His commander is not upgraded at all, while Yogstoth... Same thing, actually. Both players are focused on power. Yogstoth, however, focused on solar collectors, while El Torero is focused on wind generators. So El Torero's power infrastructure is slightly more vulnerable and slightly more volatile than Yogstoth's at the moment. Yogstoth at the center of the map, moving in for an attack. El Torero moving forward to scout. He's actually going to be able to start sniping away at this metal extractor. Yogstoth about to meet up with El Torero in battle. El Torero's dart. Going to get rid of this metal extractor as the Scorchers meet up. El Torero, nice micro there. Three against one, managed to take out one. I mean, three against one is kind of tough, but taking out one, that's not bad in such a situation. This one, an even fight. If El Torero micros as well as he has been so far, and he is definitely microing pretty well, he needs to get the Scorcher out of the way. He needs to get this Scorcher repaired. These other two Scorchers can just deal with what Yogstoth has, and Yogstoth is running away. El Torero trying to meet up with that. Looks like he's going to have to break away. You don't want to be attacking a retreating Scorcher set, although... The damage scorcher, nicely, nice move there. A bit of very situational micromanagement there. That that worked because the scorcher that Yogstoth had was damaged, and for no other reason. Do not try this at home, kids, unless you know what you're doing. And El Torero most certainly does. Another battle being joined, and El Torero unfortunately going to lose this scorcher here. Able to deal quite a bit of damage before it goes down, but at this point, Yogstoth and El Torero are about even in scorcher count once again, and. El Torero not producing as much as Yogstoth. Yogstoth has been continuously producing... Well, he was producing Scorchers. He's stopped, as has El Torero. El Torero getting back onto the Scorcher production bandwagon. And they're about to meet up again. At this point, Yogstoth is probably going to... He's going to fall from this. If El Torero strikes now, and he is, El Torero is going to be able to take out one Scorcher for free. Possibly two Scorchers. No, one Scorcher, Scorcher that died blocking off its former comrade. Keeping it alive and... These Scorchers getting back for repair. So El Torero getting that Scorcher back up and running. Basically taking a bunch of them for free. And Yogsatoth, right now though, kind of has map control. He does have the center of the map a bit better under control. He is actually possibly able to move north a bit. Moving with the Scorchers north, trying to force El Torero's hand a bit. But I, he's going to lose these Scorchers in the process. Too much defense was built up by El Torero in the meantime. And two Scorchers lost for basically free. However, it is retreating Scorcher, and you don't want to fight a retreating Scorcher. That's fighting it on its home turf. But it is 
Actually, at this point, it's hopeless. It's going up a hill. It's not going to retreat in time. And down it goes. El Torero losing no Scorchers in the process, taking some damage, but not losing anything. And continue to expand in the process. He's actually... He's getting up to this wreckage... He's getting up to the reclaim field, and this is what I was talking about with map control, maybe. Yogg'Sothoth sort of had it, but at this point, right now, the map is basically split down the middle, diagonally. There's a bit more, however, to the northeast for El Torero. In fact, no, not even that. It's split more like El Torero has this half, and Yogg'Sothoth has this corner. Yogg'Sothoth is starting to fall behind here. And El Torero, unfortunately, he did not repair a couple of the Scorchers, so these, depending on positioning, battle has been joined, and El Torero micromanaging pretty well, losing a, one of his full health Scorchers, unfortunately. Able to take out a Metal Extractor at the cost of a Scorcher, not terrible, but needs to get out of there. Is His not undamaged Scorchers are in the back, that is good, That's they're going to be hit first, and nicely stops the expansion attempt to the south. Yogg'Sothoth has been expanding to the center and to the south, El Torero expanding primarily to the north, Expanding as well a bit to the west. There is a mason going west. And El Toro, he has soft control over this area of the map too. These Scorchers can pretty much respond to any threats that go directly south. But that's a matter of seeing them. And Yogg's commander is getting under some fire. Dangerous to go with though. He doesn't want to lose his Scorchers. If he kills the commander, that destroys the Scorchers. And that's a lot of El Toro. That's El Toro's entire army at this point. Let's double check. El Toro does have vision of what's going on on the entire right side of the map. Yogg-Sothoth, on the other hand, has vision of what's going on only in his quarter. And a little bit beyond that. So right now, both players... Actually, I should say, El Torero has much more vision. Both players do have radar, but El Torero really has much more going for him in that respect. He knows basically what things can come up. He's going for Yogg-Sothoth's commander. This is a bit risky. If he loses, loses too many Scorchers, he, it may turn around. Yogg-Sothoth... Has a lot of damage Scorchers. He's switched over to Levelers, which are going to have a much easier time dealing with the Scorchers than the Scorchers can. Yogg-Sothoth has clearly not practiced his micromanagement of Scorchers as much as El Torero has, though both of them are doing fairly well. The Levelers' only downside is the lack of speed. Positioned correctly defensively, it could work, but at this point, micromanagement battle coming up, and El Torero, at this point, his positioning is quite good. If he gets to... It's just a matter of when he meets up. He needs to get in a position. This is perfect for El Toro. Yogg'Sothoth tries to cut in the middle of El Toro's lines, but unfortunately El Toro gets a ton of room to retreat, ton of room to get out of the f line of fire, and ultimately to s not quite surround, because surround micro is not really what Scorchers are good at. But he is able to retreat away from that. He does get basically f half of Yogg'Sothoth's army for free. El Toro, he has 14, 15 Scorchers, 16 Scorchers right now. Bumping 35 metal into his factory, getting a new Scorcher basically every 6 seconds. This is going extremely well for El Torero. Going to the north as well, building a couple defenders to the north to just deal with some of the defenses. While sending his Scorchers along in the south and... Okay, now he's claimed the south. He definitely has hard map control on the south. However, Yogg'Sothoth is trying to cut through the center. Once again getting more... More Scorchers through here, losing a lot of Scorchers in the process, but if he gets rid of these defenses and these Metal Extractors, he can... Okay, he's got to be careful here. He can't go through these laser turrets. He's going to lose all of his Scorchers if he tries, but he is not doing so. He's going around correctly, and at the same time, El Torero is pushing forward, but Leveler is coming to the south, getting distracted away from the laser turrets. That's their big priority, and El Torero, he's losing his Metal Extractors in the north. He is attacking to the west, taking out Yogg'Sothoth's entire base from the south, and I think he's going to move him for the kill. I think this is it. I mean, some damage is being dealt to El Torero, but like I said, losing his Scorch... Sorry, Yogg'Sothoth losing his Scorchers to those Lotuses, but El Torero able to just plow through a bunch of Slashers in the way for Yogg'Sothoth, but that won't be enough. These Scorchers are going to just tear them to shreds, and even if they don't at this point, Yogg'Sothoth has basically lost his army, as is El Torero, but El Torero has his commander in the back. He has Light Particle Beam, Advanced Repair System... Sorry, Advanced Target System, and Auto Repair... He's got a battle recon com, and this is it. This is game. El Torero's commander is basically here to finish it. Once this factory goes down, I think that Yogg'Sothoth is going to throw in the towel. His slashers have finished off the Scorchers, but more Scorchers are pouring in. Yogg'Sothoth's commander trying to pull the same trick. Morphing Beam Laser, Advanced Target System, High Power Service, going for more of a speed, bit of a speed-based build, while... El Toro has gone for more of a range-based build, highly prioritizing advanced targeting systems. Yogg'Sothoth 
Try and do what he can at the center of the map, trying to build up everything he can, cut into the center of El Torero's territory, but that basically leaves him surrounded. El Torero has gotten rid of the factory. Yogstoth hasn't yet thrown it, but he is about to, I'm sure. There it is. That's game. No GG, just a surrender and automatic self-destruct. So that was an interesting start, bit of a short game, but fascinating nonetheless. So stay tuned, I will have another game for you guys shortly.